Alright people, welcome back to another episode of Fake Car Friday. So often people try to create a new, you know, pot card, you know, drawing card because the majority of them are super broken and banned or just not good enough. So often people try to create, you know, ones that they think they're balanced. So once again, we're going to go ahead and look at another pot card here and uh, determine whether uh, this card is balanced or not. So this is Pot of Cupidity. I mean, cupidity? I don't know, it doesn't closely sound like a word. It's a non spell card that reads, pay half your life points, okay? Then draw up to four cards, then your opponent gains a thousand life points for each card drawn. Nope, that's not balanced, that's broke. That's super broke. Super, 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 even at one it's broke. That's, this is like worse than Pot of Greed. You know, for, for, let's get one thing straight. Life points are just means of resource. It doesn't matter if I beat you at 8,000 life points or 1 life point. The matter of fact is I win the duel. So life points don't mean shit, you know? I will pay half. I will pay 4,000 life points for a soul charge. I pay half my life points for solemn judgment. I pay half my life points for hero lives. I pay 2,000 life points for solemn warning. The point is, is that I will pay life points. And this is it's called, so no exception. So pay half your life points, and especially half. Half is like one of the most vaguest terms in the year. Because most of the time when people think half, they mean, oh, you play this first turn, half. That's 4,000 life points. But a half could mean later in the duel, too. You could literally have nothing. For example, let's say this is a card table. You have nothing. No cards at all. No cards on the field. No card. You draw into this. You top deck into this. You have 200 life points left. You're about to lose the duel, right? After this card, pay half your life points. All right, that's 100. Drop the four cards. Four cards? Four cards? That is a lot of fucking cards. That's almost a whole new hand. And then give your opponent a thousand life points for each? I mean, shit. We give your opponent a thousand life points for upstart, so fuck it. Sure, have the four thousand life points. Because I just do four fucking cards. I pay half my life points, I don't give a shit about. I gave you four thousand life points, I don't give a shit about. Because I'm going to take them life points with the resources that I'm gaining from playing this card. Like, no, 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 this card's busted. Especially if it's in multiples. I will gladly, you know what? If I open up with three of these, all three of these, I will gladly cut my life points to what? I started at 8,000, cut my life to 4,000, cut my life to 2,000, cut my life to 1,000, and I will give you, I will give you 1,200, but I just drew 12 fucking, cards. just think about even in Saki decks, I just do 12 fucking cards, think about this in fucking Tower Turbo, I just drew fucking four cards. Let's say Tower Turbo. I open up with four Klees and this. I will go ahead and pay half my life points, 4,000. Draw up to f draw four cards, up to four cards. There's a pretty good chance that in those four cards, I'm going to get some way of getting Scout. Whether it be Scout, Summer's Art, Wavering Eyes, some method of getting Scout. And all I need is one Scout with the other Klees. I'm going to Tower to you. I'm going to Tower to you right now. So, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like, no, this card's like, yeah, it's not even balanced. So, let's go ahead and see what people say. So, uh, one person said, yeah, drawing four cards is a big no-no. Yes, it definitely is. Uh, this is essentially uh, upstart times for attack with uh, half life points. Cause, yep, late game life points cost doesn't matter much. I already stated that as well. I would say make it a set cost actually should probably be 3,000, 4,000. So it's still going to be a big plus four for you anyway. Uh, it's plus three at the max because this card... You use it, so it definitely negs itself, but then you draw, so it's a plus three, but still. Uh, that turns the effect to be something other than mass drawing, but, you know, it's hard. It's kind of difficult to create a balanced pot card because it's already drawing, you know. What will equate to balanced drawing with something, you know? So another person said, light point difference doesn't matter much in comparison to card advantage. Yep, especially if said card advantage will let you turn the game around. Yep, and let's not forget how this works in... Uh, you have Refuge Kill Burn, alright, yeah, that's true, and fucking a Burn deck, this would be ridiculous. Like, oh, I'm gonna pay half my, I, I have, you know, my, uh, freaking Burn cards on the field, my Reverse Burn, my, my Nurse. Go ahead and pay half my life points, I'm gonna draw four cards, you take 4,000. Activate it again, draw four cards, you take 4,000 game. Like, whoo, oh, that'd be disgusting. So, uh... Then the creator of the card said, thanks for your opinions, guys. I was just wondering if a card like this would be balanced or not. No. When I was thinking on how much should the player draw at first, I have it at only three cards. Uh, burn is a thing, and I completely forgot about it. In my opinion, I think I all de I think he meant to play all. It all depends on the time of the game. I just wanted to see what everyone thought of my card design. 
I mean, pot card. Like I said, pot cards are just hard to balance, and this definitely isn't the correct route. You know, life points don't mean shit. It's all about resources, and clearly this is a perfect example. I will gladly pay half my life points and allow you to get 4,000 life points to draw four cards any day of the week. So, ridiculous. So, and then that person says, this is, as other people already stated, a complete bonkers and burn and bonkers in Chain Zodia as well. Uh, this makes Hope Force escape plus you so hard. Yeah, it really does, you know, because I'm going to pay half my... Let's say I go first. Let's say I play a stretch hard. So I'm going to pay you 4,000 life points and give you 4,000 life points. That's a whole difference of 8,000 life points. Uh, Hope Force escape. that's another four cards. Another four cards. If you pay a thousand, you're still uh, eight thousand. Well, you'll text them that thousand, but you know you'll be in multiples of two thousand. You'll be four down. So that's another four cards. Not only did you just play this, drew four cards, but then you hope for escape, drew another four cards. So in psyche decks, this is very ridiculous. But just in general, and just in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, this card is ridiculous. So just mm 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 mm. And hey, they you, people can keep trying. People can keep trying. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. We'll, of course, be back next Friday with another fake card. And League starts tomorrow, guys. Uh, it starts at 2 p.m. It, well, it goes on at uh, 2 p.m. and 12 p.m. Pacific time, respectively. So whatever time that is for you. And uh, you'll get two on Saturday and two on Sunday all the way until we make it up to the playoffs. And when it comes to the playoffs, I will go ahead and put up a separate video explaining how that works and all that. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this episode of Fake Card Friday. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Alright, people, thanks for watching.